Hey guys, welcome back to Cars in 60. And today we have Linton. Linton, welcome to Cars in 60. Thank you for coming out today with this uh, C63. And uh, just quickly, just take us through how, how long have you owned this car for? Uh, it's about four years now. Four years. And uh, you recently ran a 11.2 Adam Cousy. Normally aspirated, yes. Eh? That's crazy. Okay, let's just go through the side. And uh, from what I can see, the car is kept pretty much OEM. Just the uh, wheels have been changed. What? We've got today? a set of 19 Vossons. Yeah. Very really difficult room to get, but. Yeah. These are obviously uh, narrow and wide. Yes. And uh, obviously, I heard the car driving in. Exhaust has been changed out here. Yes. Just take us to what's done on the exhaust. Uh, well, we've got uh, headers, which is the branches. Yeah. And uh, we've got a full straight pipe with our standard back boxes. Yeah, standard back box. Yeah, I believe that makes more power on, on the car. Yeah, the car sounds crazy. And uh, can I just open just to see the interior quickly? No Thank you. Because I don't think you need to change much in our uh, AMG interior. Very, very cool. And uh, lastly, can we just open the bonnet and see what's done here? So that's all carbon fiber. Is this all yeah. stock? No, no, it's all aftermarket. We've done it in house ourselves. Okay. We have done it. Yeah. Just take us through what's done here, Vincent. Well, I've got the. Um, Performance in uh, filters. Yeah. I've got the cold and in, uh, induction kit. Yeah. That's uh, very we're running cool. bigger injectors. Yeah. Uh, a flex fuel kit. Yeah. And uh, basically, that's what's up it. And yeah. what power is this car making? Uh, we made about 419 kilowatts. 419 yeah. kilowatts at the wheels. Yeah. And then uh, torque? It's about 760 around there, 760 around there. And your tuning, who's on your tuning? Limitless. Who? Limitless voice and from the limitless yeah. again, eh? And, uh, we, well, we previously ran nitrous on the car. Yeah. We made about 560 yeah. to 600 kilowatts on the car. Uh, it was insane with the nitrous. Yeah. But, Any reason uh, why you took it out? Uh, well, we had um, some, uh, what, what do I say, some issues with the car. Yeah. So... Uh, you wanted to go back to... Uh, back to aspirated and yeah. we had them pussy drags come in. Yeah. And it was too much of... Uh, a job to put the nitrous back. Yeah. So last minute we decided to go on the flex fuel kit and try it out. And you guys run an 11 too? 11 too on it. That's yeah. crazy. And full seat trim, full yes. interior, everything. Yes. And any future plans for the car, Linton? Uh, well, we're waiting for the next event. We just yeah. got a few other things that we want to try out. Yeah. And then hopefully we want to break in the tens with the aspirator before we put the nitrous back yeah, on. Yeah, I definitely think you guys are going to do yeah. it. Uh, any reason why you haven't swapped over onto the new C63 twin turbo? Well, uh, this is the last of the V8s. Yeah, it is. And uh, it, for us, it gives a better power and it's aspirated. Yeah, and it's like an engine I don't think you're ever going to get again. We ran like uh, 100 shots of nitrous on this motor. Yeah. It's a very strong motor. And uh, lastly, can you just rub it up for us so we can hear what it sounds like? Sliding feeling the car wheel spinning. Yeah. Sure, just for the viewers, we're back with Royson uh, from Limitless Tuning and we in a client's car, a C63, making 400 kilowatts yeah. at the wheels and it's run a 11.2 second naturally aspirated a month ago. Yeah, about a month, month and a half ago. And yeah, some boozy drags. Yeah, and just take us through what, what you've done on this car, uh, Royson. Okay, this car has got uh, custom long tube headers, yeah. um, 76 mil exhaust. Uh, our custom software. Yeah. Um, what else? It's got the flex fuel. Yeah. What? Just explain what flex fuel is. Uh, flex fuel is a alcohol system. It based well use ethanol. Yeah. So it links up to the ECU and it, it depends on the percentage of ethanol you put in. It adjusts the map. Yeah. Okay. Accordingly. Okay. So the, it has a computer system that adjusts the fueling automatically. That's cool. Right? Alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys have a custom induction, I saw carbon fiber. Yeah, that was also custom made by our company. Yeah, made so, in-house. That's that, very cool, eh? Yeah, it's only the regret, it's small things that 
make a difference on these cars. And in your opinion or in your preference, which do you prefer? Because you're tuning uh, forced induction, you're tuning like one of the best naturally aspirated engines that's been yeah. put out in our, uh, what, past 10 years in mm. like a V8? Yeah, well, I really enjoy these. Uh, these are real machines. Um, they're nice on the top end, they're nice on the quarter mile. Yeah. They're bulletproof. Like this car, we've run nitrous on it before, like a few years yeah. ago. Yeah, the owner and was saying, yes, yeah. <clears throat> Even with the nitrous, I mean, it was running quite a big shot. It had two kits, in fact. Yeah. And this car was making about 540 kilowatt, like almost a thousand newton meters of torque. Crazy. And that's but on the stock engine. Stock engine. And, well, obviously the car's been standing for years. Yeah. Took the kits off. So the drag event that we participated in, yeah. in fact, wanted to put the nitrous back in. And then we were like, no, the car stood for like three years. Yeah. We don't want to hurt the engine. Yeah, you just want to run so it. So we in. said, we'll just run it normally aspirated this event. And it surprised us. We didn't expect that time from yeah, it. Yeah, 11 to is what? Like, I'm sure with it's, that attraction, you will get into the tent. Yeah, it can. This car, we saw capability. It will go 11 1, 11 0, maybe a yeah. 10 9. Um, so we're gonna the next event still run it aspirated. Yeah. Make a few small changes on maybe lighten the car a bit more. Yeah. But other than that, no need to put the nitrous back in yet. And that's you know when you think about it, we're sitting in a like the premium German, uh, you know, engineering. This yeah. car is an AMG C63, and this car is running close to 10 seconds. Someone with a C63, Royson, what, what packages do you offer from Limitless Tuning? Like, say they don't want to do a quarter mile, but they want to do a, an upgrade. We what? can do just software. I mean, like the first day, okay, it's just software stage one yeah. for pump fuel. Um, we get these cars, we get very good results of them. Stock form, a 63, a C63 runs like a 13.3, 13.4 around there on the quarter mile. Yeah. And with just the stage one software, we get it to... A 12 2, 12 3. That's a, that's, that's a so huge. So one second jump without yeah. any modifications on your car. And that's what the stock exhaust, stock, stock everything. everything. And what do you charge like plus minus for that package? Uh, software, okay, a stage one software we do for around about six and a half thousand. Yeah. And um, then there are modifications that we do on it after that to go a bit crazy. Yeah. yeah. Then that's, you, you go induction and then the induction head is exhaust. exhaust. Yeah. Filters. Sure. And any future plans for this specific uh, C63? We, we're going to run one more event, normally aspirated, yeah. and then put the nitrous stuff back into the car. Okay, so you're going to go. Yeah, yeah, we are going to put it back because, I mean, we know the level of power it was on before. Yeah. And you guys have no plan because I know you like crazy with all your turbocharging and supercharging. No plans of going forced induction in this? It's not, uh, in, it's not impossible. It hasn't, it, it's been done. Um, yeah. Supercharging is. That's a bolt-on kit from Waste Tech and stuff. Yeah. But I don't. From what from what we've seen from the supercharged kits, we're yeah. getting that with nitrous. So okay. Okay. For us, instead it's of cheaper spending that. to go to the nitrous route, and you're getting in fact more. Yeah, with the supercharger, the only the, well, the only place you have there is adjusting the pulleys to pick up boost, and boost. that's it. Yeah, and we're getting the same results with nitrous on these cars, so yeah. it's not really needed. Um, but it would be nice to turbocharge these engines. It'll be a twin turbo, eh? Twin turbo that'll setup, be, yeah, that'll be insane. I mean, the torque on these cars are what, 800? Uh, no, normally aspirated, uh, they make, okay, this one makes 700 newton meters. Yeah. Um, but with the nitrous, it made 990 newton meters. 990, 1000 newton meters. Yeah. So and you can feel the torque. So this is the second gear pull. Shit. Just slides. Eh? Yeah, tail happy. <laughs> I can actually smell the rubber inside. Now I understand why, like when the C63 came out, like it just overtook the M3 at the time, the E92. Yeah. Can't even compare the like the, the acceleration. Delivery. Yeah. Like I understand the M3 is more a driver's car, and you know it's built for the power on that car is for that, you know that package. But this is just brutal. Yeah. It's just raw power. Exhaust system, you guys have a custom one, yeah? Yeah, custom exhaust system, X-Pipe. And in, in your uh, advice, Royce, and someone with a C63, what's the first mod they should do? Software, go with the software, and yeah. then the headers make a big difference, but it's not necessary straight away. You can go software, exhaust, yeah. filters, 
that'll get the kind so it's not levels. Mo- not much of modifications needed to get this no the, the your first step is the software because the c63 from factory yeah um, they come restricted with the software the throttle body only opens like 60 percent okay okay I didn't know that so. So that's where we get such a big jump on software on these cars because yeah. then we open it's it up. It's detuned so much. Yeah. What are the stock zero genres on this car? I'm not sure. It should be in the five, say, five should or four. should be around there, but it's hard with this thing. With the street tires, it's... Yeah, because this car just wheel spins. Yeah. What slicks do you guys run, Arisa? Uh, Husia. Okay, okay, the proper yeah. drag slicks. Yeah, with that, with the Husias we get, like the last track event, we hit yeah. 1.5, 60 foot. Sure. And uh, do, you guys, do you guys have any pro- problems with the prop shaft or side shaft snapping? No. Nothing. Nothing. It's actually like if you want to be in a very fast car and race it, this is a good. Uh, it's a good point. Yeah. Good buy, hey. Gives you your quarter mile. Gives you your top end. And the owner was saying his fuel economy is actually. It's, it's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people expect. They think these cars are very heavy on fuel, but it's not. <laughs> Nicely, hey. Mm. Oof, what a car, hey. Yeah, they're fun. And you said reliability, no issues, eh? No issues, they're solid. Mm. 